Hello, this is a fantastic container problem, something you may see in class. So uh, right now, pause the video, write this down, or just stop and read the question for like two seconds. All right, assuming you're not a scrub, you pause the video there, and you are now ready to do some math. We know this is a work problem, and we know that we have two pumps filling up our container and one taking away. So pump A is uh, doing the job in one sixth of an hour, so one six T. And B is also filling, so we're gonna add these two, while pump C is taking away, so I need to change that to one fifth, and it's a minus. And they're gonna try to do one job, so we set that equal to one. Now we have to get a common denominator for all of these to combine them, and that common denominator is 210. So this is 35 two hundred tenths, uh, plus 30 two hundred tenths, minus 42 two-hundred-tenths, and that equals one. So this gives us 65 minus 42, which is 23, so we have 23 two-hundred-tenths t equals one, meaning that t is equal to 210 over 23. Don't know why I selected that box, but that is approximately um, 9.13, so t equals 9.13. Now, I'm going to leave it as that uh, number, but um, I just want to make sure that you guys aren't rounding early. Leave it as your improper fraction, and that'll really help you out. So t equals uh, 210 over 23 hours, which is approximately 9.3 hours. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to um, figure out what is the volume of our shape right? Because without that, we we're, don't know really what we're doing. So we have a cylinder uh, with a hemisphere on top, hemisphere being half a sphere. So the hemisphere volume is two-thirds pi r cubed. Remember, two-thirds because it's half a uh, sphere, and a sphere is four-thirds pi r cubed. And then we have a cylinder. So here's my cylinder, and I have a sphere on top. Right, you got this sphere on top, and it's just beautiful, right? It's the worst thing you've ever seen, but that's fine. Um, we know it has a radius of 10, and we know that the height is twice that. So we know the height has a radius of 20. So this means that we are going to have to do 2 thirds times pi uh, 10 cubed plus uh, pi times the radius squared times height. So this gives us a volume of 8,000 over 3 pi. And that's going to be uh, feet cubed. 8,000 over 3 pi feet cubed. Now from here, we are going to try to figure out how much water is draining per hour, and we know that pump C is filling it at a rate, uh, or is emptying it at a rate of uh, five hours, so we divide this by five. So 8,000 divided by five is 1,600. So we have 1,600 over three pi. Now this is how much is draining per hour, right? So pump C is uh, emptying this at um, one-fifth of an hour, right, it's emptying one-fifth of the container uh, per hour, then that means that each hour, 16,000 over three pi uh, feet cubed is being emptied. So now we just have to multiply by how many hours, 210 over 23, right, 210 over 23, and we multiply that right now. And that'll tell us how much total water is being wasted. So that gives us, one second, okay, it's being horrible. Um, one, one, two, zero, 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 over three pi. Right, did I do that right? Oh no, I missed the 23, sorry, 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 sorry. So this should be 210 times 1600 uh, and all of that over 69. So this is going to give us 
336,000 over 69 pi, which this can definitely be reduced, but we don't actually care about that. Uh, we just care that our answer is going to be those two quantities multiplied together. Um, and that is a total of 15,298.2 feet cubed of water, which isn't the correct term. We'd probably want to change this to gallons, but for our purpose, for our class, this will work. All right, so I hope this video helps, and let me know if you have any other questions.